All right, thanks, Clayton. Lots of us are tightening our belts, of course, with affordability a top priority for many Americans. Some restaurant chains are going under. Others, like Hooters, are booming during this down economy. Is it the food, the beer, or the ladies? Let's ask Dave Briggs. He's at the Hooters on 56th Street in Manhattan with a um, hard-hitting uh, investigative report. What have you learned, Dave? Very hard-hitting investigative journalism we're doing here this morning, guys. Clayton looked really good in that uh, kilt earlier, but I don't know if he can quite compete with our next guest here at Hooters. Um, the ladies have all joined us bright and early, as of the customers here on 56th Street here in New York. Uh, the general manager of this store, Will LeBas, is here with us. There, are, there is a term to qualify restaurants such as yourself. They're going to have to Google that. But for the answers, we turn to you. Why are restaurants like yourself doing so well in the recession when all these restaurants across the country are struggling? Well, I, th I think you have to look at it that, you know, people, people come here because they got great, quali uh, great product, uh, great quality food for a great price. And also, I mean, you have a beautiful woman bringing it to you. You know, it's an escape from reality. It's come in here, forget what's happening down on Wall Street, forget what's happening at your job. Come in here, have a good time, have a beer, talk to these beautiful women, and go from there. And it might surprise you ladies watching right now that all the customers in here are not men. In fact, you have quite a few women that visit this restaurant sure. each and every day. Sure. We have quite a few women that come in. Also, we have families. I mean, you know, just looking over here, you know, we have, you know, four-year-olds, five-year-olds. It's, it's a family-oriented restaurant. It isn't what, what you think, or it's just a bunch of guys coming in here drinking beers, and that's it. Well, let's, let's bring in one of the ladies. When you have guys that come in that are, that are laid off, you, you help them make them feel a little bit better in these tough times, right? Of course. That's our duty. And to, and to remind you, 30% of the customers, they estimate, are women in these restaurants across the country. There are other franchises, just like Hooters. They all say they're up across the country. Again, it's affordability, it's the obvious, and it's very good food. And we want to thank Will LeBas from Hooters and all the ladies and all the customers who braved this early morning. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, they say. It's 10 to 10 Eastern time, though, at Hooters. Back to you guys. Oh, Dave.